we're outside Yurt Lush in Bristol and we're about to cycle to COP21 in Paris. Conference of the Parties, Climate Change Conference, is never going to be closer uh, to Bristol than, than in Paris, so ideal chance to jump on the bikes and go over there. It also coincides with Bristol as the European Green Capital Year, and it was really important that a group of people on behalf of Bristol go over to COP and say, look, the people of Bristol really care about this stuff. There's 15 of us riding, it's a mixed bag. We will be looking after there's a few of us who are pretty key cyclists, but it's great that some other people have just sort of said, yeah, I care enough that I'm just going to find a bike. Come on, let's go. I felt this was the biggest thing I could do that would send a message that people care, people are watching, people are interested. When you talk to people, you say, yeah, I'm cycling to Paris over the course of four days in November, and people say, why are you doing that then? And you say, well, because we're going to COP21. And they say, oh, what's that then? And then you start having a conversation about it. Climate change has taken a bit of a back burner, really. It's not the top of people's priority lists anymore. I don't think enough people are talking about it. I don't think enough people are aware of it. And therefore, there's not enough pressure being put on our government, on politicians, on anybody to, to drive for change. So I think it goes back to that, you know, should I say, people power approach, and in this case, leg power. Uh, really trying to convey that message that people want change uh, and it's time to bring it about. I was suffering really quite badly for me. I wouldn't have gone that far in those hours. It's challenging and every morning I get out of bed I think I'm not going to complete this and yet somehow we do. I think it shows you what you can do when you put your mind to it. Sounds of gears changing. What's great is that the group represents businesses, NGOs, organisations and just individuals who are all here on the same kind of mission. It encapsulates what Bristol is about. It's just great that there's all these companies that have been offering sponsorship to help the whole thing to move along. People are helping each other out, there's you know, food passing backwards and forwards, water, tools, equipment, repairs. It's really good, a real, a real team spirit. It has been really good riding in this group and it's been very supportive and we've looked after each other. If somebody like me can take on this challenge, then as a global community we've got to take on the challenge of making some difficult decisions and staying the course to be able to complete what we need to do for action on climate change, that's what we need. Thank you.